So today, I wanted a treat for mites. Uh, we haven't opened these in a, in a few weeks. Uh, I'm hoping that this isn't really bad news. Um, I haven't seen it look like this. I've been through here before. We have a bunch of dead so bees in the front. So when I see a bunch of yellow jackets flying in there, I hope that doesn't mean that, I hope that doesn't mean that these guys are goners. I mean, let's take a look. All right, I'm hoping for the best here. Okay, I still see honeybees, that's a good sign. If any luck, we'll be treating for mites. Jeez, that's a lot of dead bees. I just see a ton of yellow jackets. Oh my gosh. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. I think these are gone. Do you think the bees died because of uh, the super being on too long during the cold? No, it shouldn't matter. Right. Could you imagine if we lost this box? It looks very, very possible at this point. Let's take a look at what we got. A little freaky. All I see are yellow jackets. This is good, babe. I, I see dead. I need to see dead honeybees absolutely everywhere. Oh no! It's not good. They're gone. We lost our box. Yeah, we lost our bees. Let's see what happened here. I have to admit, just be prepared. If we lost this, we probably lost the other box. Hopefully not. Oh. What the happened? Honey is still here. There's no honeybees anywhere. I don't see any honeybees. They just dropped dead. Let's take this box off and see if we can see anything else, okay? Alright. It's just yellow jackets. I don't think yellow jackets killed these. Oh, the honey's gone, isn't it? Oh, there's no honey in here. They've been taking it. The thing is, is I don't even see any bees. These bees may have absconded. They may have left. For one reason or another. I'm sorry, babe. It's okay. I'll try again next year. Let's see if we can find any more evidence of what happened here. It's the queen. Is that the queen? It's her. What happened? I don't know. Hard to say. Oh my gosh. Jeff, I'm speechless. I have absolutely no clue what happened right now. One of the bees that was protecting her was still alive. I dropped her. There she is. This just happened. That's so sad. Are you noticing a lot of honey being missing too? Well, yeah, it's been they're being robbed. Just that's why all the yellow jackets are here. Yeah. Well, let's check to see if we have another hive. Jeff, there's no activity in there. Kind of makes you want to cry, doesn't it? No, it's just part of it. It's just 
how it goes. You live, you learn. I don't think so, babe. It's yellow jackets. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are dead. I think they weren't able to stay warm. Oh, they're alive. Are they really? Yeah, they're alive. Not by much, though. Shit. I don't think these guys are going to make it. I'm being looted. Yeah, yellow I jackets. see the yellow jackets everywhere. Well, should we treat them? Is what it is, right? Yeah. Let's do it up. So for one reason or another, we lost this box. You can see all the dead bees. We found the queen. She's dead. Uh, we think it's because we left the feeder on too long. Uh, we haven't been back here in a while because my wife was hospitalized and we haven't been able to really take care of them. This is the first time we really got a chance. This box has a lot of mites, so we actually came out here to treat both hives for mites and we saw all these yellow jackets and dead bees everywhere. We lost a hive. You could see that all the bees are down here. We found the queen, she's dead. This is our strong hive. This is our strong hive. With no mites. So there's no mites in, in this box. <laughs> this box, Still we kicking. found 10 mites on a sugar roll, which we need to treat for, and they survived. They had the same setup as these guys. They had uh, they had the same bot, the same uh, feeder, but there's a lot less of them. This is our weaker hive. I don't have high hopes for this box. There's not a whole lot of bees in there. We open the box up and there's there's yellow jackets everywhere. They can't defend their hive. I don't think they're gonna make it. I'm not even sure if they have a queen. So yeah, you can actually see yellow jackets just. Yeah. They're oh, just, I didn't mean to kill you. They're just Close everywhere. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure. I guess we're gonna lose both these hives and we ain't even getting a winner yet. Well, it is what it is. I mean, there's, we could have only done so much to uh, prevent, uh, prevent this from happening. Okay, so the last two things I'm gonna do, uh, I don't anticipate these guys are gonna make it, but we're gonna pretend like they will. So I have a, a mouse guard and the inner cover that I have to put back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them back. So the inner cover's on, notch side down. Oops. So we're gonna put the notch side down. Uh, I was told that's the way to do it during the winter. Okay, we have this mouse guard. Looks like it goes like so. Now, the real way to put them on is to put some screws in here. I just wanted to show how that's going to look. Again, I think there's only about maybe a hundred bees in here now. I didn't see a whole many of them and the yellow jackets seemingly have, you know, you do whatever they want here. So I just, I don't have high hopes, but you know, we'll, we'll guess we'll try again next year. This hive, I think I'm going to uh, come out here with a hand truck and prop this hive up on it and start trying to uh, save one save whatever I can, put this guy in the freezer or something, you know, just get these yellow jackets out of here. So I'm gonna do that, not on camera. I just wanted to explain that's what's gonna happen now. So, uh, all right, well, that's the season. Uh, you know, I was excited to uh, see if they're gonna make it through the winter, but I already know this one's gone and this one's probably is most likely not going to. I, I didn't bother looking for a queen. Chances are she's dead. Okay, so this this is about a week later after we lost our first box, and uh, we were pretty we were pretty upset, and we didn't know exactly what happened. So we took some pictures and we did some investigating, and our mentor believes that this is a result of a chemical kill. It's nothing that we did wrong in particular. So we had we had our high feeders on here but so did a lot of other people uh the same day my mentor told me that he just took one off of one of his hives so it wasn't the cold that killed them so and he lives in this area right so. and he lives down the, down the road so 
we do believe that this was the result of a chemical kill. He, he told me that what ends up happening is they all get poisoned and they all try to find their way out of the hive. And that's why we saw a huge pile of bees in the front last time. And this hive, we were suspecting the same fate for this hive and it was getting attacked by yellow jackets. So I just came, I just came and I put, and I uh, blocked the entrance, keep the yellow jackets out and we come back out and lo and behold. Same thing. Same thing. When they know they're dying, they actually try to get out yeah, at the entrance. Yeah, they know they're about to die, they try to get out and blocking them from coming out for a handful of days isn't going to kill them, especially when the temperature's as cold as this. They really don't do a lot of flying. And anyway. they're full of honey. And we blocked it in the first place just to stop yeah. the yellow jackets from robbing them. Yeah, so we blocked it off so the yellow jackets would stop robbing them. And they have plenty of honey in here. You know, they have ventilation, so they didn't overheat. It hasn't even been hot enough for them to overheat. So yeah, we're, we're pretty certain that they were in fact killed by someone treating their lawn or a farmer treating their fields. So it did get, it did get warm here uh, later, in, later on in November. So I don't know if it's typical that people treat after the pollinators are gone, but we had a stretch of 70 degrees. It was freakishly warm. My guess is these guys all went out to, uh, they all went out to gather and they picked up a pesticide or they picked up a lawn care fertilizer or you know it could be as simple as it could be as simple as someone just leaving out a pail of antifreeze that they were drinking out of you know or it, it, it could be literally anything any toxic chemical that was left out and had water the bees thought was fair game to take you know that's that's probably what ended up killing them now this particular hive had a lot of mites but this one didn't this one had no mites zero so and so to have two full boxes of honey and no no diseases whatsoever and they all just drop dead one day you know that and jeff saw them a week before even though we actually didn't look at them at the time because i was in the hospital a week before or a week or two jeff was mowing i was mowing the grass and, and he were, saw the bees both active they were yeah active, they were doing their thing so it's it's nothing uh and this this hive was still alive during the last video and there wasn't a lot of bees left, but they were still kicking. But we knew that they didn't really have a chance just based off the numbers of bees yeah, that we, were still alive. We knew alive. that they were next, but... We, we just didn't we have were, the heart to kill them. We were trying to give them just the last we fighting were, chance. We were hopeful, yeah. but... Uh, no, we... To no avail, uh, they're gone. So we're going we're gonna to bring these boxes in just like the other ones. There's still a lot of usable honey in here and drawn comb, and I don't want to lose that. So what we're doing is we're dropping each of these boxes into a deep freezer for a few days at a time to kill any wax moths or, uh, or hive beetles that may be left over in them or, or anything else in there. So if you put them in a freezer for three days, that should take care of the problem. And then we're going to, I'm going to create, I'm going to create some sort of a, a, a frame hanger in a, in a sealable tote just so that it tries to try to keep the mice away, the ants away, stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, at some point this weekend, we're going to remove these boxes and they're both dead. So if there's, if oh, there's any me. silver lining in this whole thing is I don't have to look outside in the middle of January when it's zero degrees and wonder how they're doing. Cause I already know. <laughs> so, and that stinks, but we're still, uh, we're still optimistic and uh, we still have big plans for next year. I still want to do four hives, so... Yeah, we're not giving up. This is yeah, not we're, stopping we're us. Going eat. So if we're going to catch some swarms or we're going to... If someone's willing to do splits with us or even if I have to buy four colonies of bees, I'm going to do that. No, but we also have so, to catch a swarm. That is a must. Yeah, but I'll be <laughs> definitely putting out some swarm traps because this was a big hit. You know, uh, these packaged bees, after shipping, they, they're around 200 bucks. 200 bucks a hive, so... That's why when there's a swarm around, it won't be long before a beekeeper's coming, you know, cause that's, I mean, if you got $200 sitting on a tree branch up there, would you go get it? You know, so why not? I guess that's the mentality of all beekeepers. Why not? You know, bees, bees aren't cheap. And, uh, and the more of them you have, the more you can, that can make through the winter, the, uh, the better off you're going to be. So if I had four hives and two of them died, I'm going to have to do a split on each of these hives next year anyway to stop them from swarming. So that's so that's how, how beekeepers do it. So as long as they can keep half their hives, they can always replace all of their bees. We're not there yet. We're not at a point where we have enough 
enough bees to to reestablish ourselves. Obviously, I had two hives and they both died. <laughs> so, so it is what it is. Hey, but we got two gallons of honey. Yeah, we got a bunch we got, of beeswax. We got two gallons of honey. We got some beeswax. We learned a lot about the and, bees. And, and here's and here's the the best part. We have we have the honeycomb. When as a beekeeper, your drawn comb that's your infrastructure. So it takes five times more honey to make comb than it does to make honey. So right now the name of the game is save all the comb and save as much honey as we can. So I'm not gonna take the honey out of the frames. I'm gonna leave them in the frames and then come spring when we order bees, that'll be a nice, a nice frame of honey to put in there to start them off with. So I won't have to feed them with a top feeder. I, I already have full frames of honey I could feed them with. So that's, that's super awesome. But I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, I'm gonna actually put this back on. So it's too cold for yellow jackets, but in the event that I don't come back today. You just don't want to get like a mouse in there or something. Yeah, I don't want anything going in there and making a home in there. So I have to repaint these boxes. They got whooped. Well, well I mean, well, there's, that's one advantage to all this is we get to completely clean all these boxes down. You know, if we had bees in them, we wouldn't get the opportunity to get all the get all of our propolis off and stuff so that these can all be scraped down real good and we don't have to worry about angering any bees our poor bees these are like tombstones right now what a bummer but all right we'll prevail all right well let's get to it that's it that's a wrap for the bees for this season